Hello everybody, hopefully you are doing great and you are preparing at the same time for your exams as you know that time is uh, time flies and you have to be ready for your exam uh, so in today's video which is about phonetics I tried as much as I could to collect and gather information that is really necessary for this uh, this course and and I as a usual I did a brief summary a brief video which includes uh, all most items in phonetics in order to help you understand phonetics in a clear way and also it is a helpful for those students who cannot attend their classes regularly and understand the phonetics I know most of you think that phonetics is somehow difficult and also some of you still have a splendor in their minds that's why inshallah in this video we will try to discuss and help you take a total view about phonetics and also just you can depend on this video on your preparation and for those who still who da don't still uh, prepare themselves for the exams just you can watch this video and work on some exams and inshallah go pass your exam in a good way and good luck to all of you so without any further ado let's start our video so the objective of course of this course is are to help you is five students recognize and master the most important elements of phonetics as it is obvious below in this outline so inshallah in this video we are we're gonna discuss what do you know when you know a language why orthography spelling fails in representing sounds what is phonetics types of phonetics vowels and consonants cardinal vowel chart how can we describe consonants the place of articulation the manner of articulation voicing and in order to describe those sounds in a clear way we need distinctive features like anterior and non anterior articulation coronal uh, continuity nasals oral sibilant and stridents and so on and so forth and at the end we have a summary of all these things in a small uh, small charts or small diagrams that will show you how everything will be clear if you just fake it and uh, of course memorize memorize it in your mind and at the end of course we will work on some exams and of course I will talk a little bit about it in order to uh, make sure how this exam can be just a piece of cake for you if you just follow these steps so let's start with a questions and also you might find it in your exams because some teachers might know how can you uh, deal with like these questions and he or she 
my wants to know uh, some information about about you towards of course linguistics in general so what do you know when you know a language so when you know a language of course knowing a language uh, means knowing how it is produced you can do conversation with others easily in other words you can speak and understand the message of people who speak the same language for example you can comprehend and speak English because you have studied it and you will be able to know which sounds might start a word and end a word and this indicates the capacity of using it so in general this question you might also find it of course in morphology so when you know a language you know the organs that are responsible for the production of the sounds how the, you are how you articulate it etc this is knowing a language knowing it is phonology it is morphology it is uh, phonetics etc this is what is may what does mean by knowing a language so knowing a language might have a problem in writing why orthography spelling fails in representing sounds so orthography simply fails for many reasons that like some letters are mute such as k in no so we can't we can't say no it will be a mystic and the right one it is no and the k here just it is mute the next uh, like gh in some words like through it is mute too and also you might find two letters have one sound like sh in show so sh in in show in show so we have s and h they are one sound or represent one sound which is sh and d the in though so two sounds represent one sound like th t and h and f in photo we have two sounds p and h represent f also you might find two sounds have one letter like plus s in extra okay also you might find one sound one sound can represent many sounds like e as in as in believe so we have i e represents long vowel e and c two e or double e represent long vowel e and people and c's so as you can see so this is a few examples that indicates how orthography fails in representing the exact uh, spelling or the exact letters of a language and also you have to take some examples and your your professor might ask you to write small paragraph showing him how orthography fails and you can take like these examples and just you can write this first orthography fails for many reasons and you gave the first reason some letters and you gave this and second reason this and etc and don't forget to give the examples like this this way and you show it using transcriptions 
in phonetics is very important the next so when have a problem of uh, orthography that fails in of course rendering the exact letters so what we need we need a scientific study we need a scientific branch to solve this problem so the scientific branch that will solve this problem is phonetics so as you know that phonetics is a branch of linguistics and it is the scientific study of human speech sounds it focuses on those sounds that are articulated in the vocal tract it tells you what organs are responsible in producing sounds such as respiratory system glottis and articulatory in general it is the conscious knowledge about sounds of language so in general phonetics just concerned uh, is concern uh, concerned uh, consider okay or concerned with just uh, the sounds that we produced from our organs from the lengths until the lapse so everything uh, involved involves in this in this operation it is of course the concern of phonetics so we have four types of phonetics uh, three types of phonetics the first one it is articulatory phonetics and it is our study of in this video which is about the production of sounds the second one it is auditory phonetics which is about the perception of speech and how ears can receive the sounds and move it to the mind and it is not our concern in this video but if you want to know about it you can ask me below to do a video about these two uh, branches of phonetics acquisitive phonetics is about just the physics of speech okay so let's now just the phonetics in uh, concerning uh, of course linguistics so basic segments of speech we have vowels and consonants so vowels are or they are vocal sounds that have no obstructions of ear stream through the production in vocal tracts in other words the vowels are free in the cavity okay are free in their production we produce them freely without any obstruction from any organ in our oral cavity okay we have three kinds or three types we have diphthong monophthong and triphthong so concerning diphthong is a sound formed by combining two vowels in single syllable so we have two vowel as you can see in this chart we have a and I give us the sound I like in for example five I and a and U so gave us the sounds oh 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 like no out like in this, the third one we have I or e gave and i gave us the sounds a a like say eight and we have o and u 
give us the sound o like go and home we have the o and i give the sound oi like boy and join and here like here or here and ear like here and near and ua like tour so this is concerned with diphthong so we have two vowel remember this we have two vowel give us one vowel sounds and morphthong or pure sounds of english is just a combination of two letters that make one complete speech sound like a ah, in cup luck and ah in arm and father and ah like cut and black and i like mit and bit and shva ah like uh, away cinema and er like turn and learn e like hit and sitting e like see and hit and ah like hot and rock and aw like call and for and u like put and could and u like blue and food concerning triftong triftong simply it is a diphthong and schwa it is a combination of course between diphthong and schwa uh, so now let's see the parameters that are used in order to describe these vowels in the above mentioned we have three type so the first one that he is shown in the cardinal chart this is the cardinal chart as you can see in a yellow color this is the cardinal which of course describes and it is of course a parameter that describes how sounds uh, uh, produced in our oral cavity and of course if you if you are curious about this cardinal vowel chart you can do so cardinal it's a name of who of course queened this uh, this device so you can do your own research to know how this device work etc so we have three types we have the position of the tongue we call frontness and backness so here we are talking about the movement of the tongue whether back whether a back or forward and the high the tongue height it is high or low and round roundedness of lips can be rounded or spread this is as you can see here in the chart we have this is the sounds that are produced from the back like u and o and o okay and the sounds that are produced from the front like e and a and we have high and high this is this is high and this is low this is back and this is uh, this is front this is middle and this is of course central so what this is as you can see this is central this is the vowel that are in the central and you need to understand this chart and try to practice it in in your home in order to uh, to retain it when you need when you need it 
and retrieve it of course this is the sounds that are produced from the front and this is the sounds that are produced from the back and of course these sounds are in the middle this sounds from from here and in the bottom are low and here these sounds are high as you can see here high high so for example we have uh, another another note that is very important is the symbols the symbols that here so when we have high okay what we do plus high or if we have low just we do minus minus high <laughs> minus high like here where is it minus high but if we have high like here e we say plus high if we have r we do just minus high if we have back and and front so in back and front we don't do in the des uh, description front just we do plus back or minus back for example now we have u just in the description we do just plus back while here we do plus minus back here it is the same thing low uh, uh, the middle so if you have the middle we do minus high plus uh, minus high minus back okay this is it for example this is an example we have u and r so here it is plus syllabic minus consonants why we say plus syllabic because they are vowel they are free in the production of the ear while consonants as we will see in the next they are restriction or closure in their production in the vocal tract and this is plus uh, plus uh, it is not front it is it is of course minus back this is a an, an mystic I'm sorry this is minus back this minus back okay this is how and plus high plus round plus tense that we will going to uh, we are going to see it and R it is of course plus syllabic minus consonant and also it is an another mystic it is minus back we do minus back and minus high because it is low and minus round it is spread so we spread our lips we we don't uh, round our lips so the consonants so the consonants are produced with some restriction or closure in the vocal tract so they are not free in the production they make some friction when we produce them so how can we describe this consonant of course there are three facts the place of articulation manner of articulation and voicing which we gave them p me uh, okay uh, me and v p me v this is the abbreviation of these facts this is the fact so the place of articulation 
as you can see here this is the place of articulation and we have active and passive places so we have active places like like lips like thong like yovla while other things are not active they are just passive so we have nasal of cavity and by the way guys please try to remember these concepts they are really important if you don't know them so you will you might find a problem in the description so just if you know this this uh, concepts it will be easy for you to understand and and of course retain the words in your uh, the sounds in your minds okay we have nasal cavity nasal cavity here al hufra al anfiya alveolar ridge كما نقول ليه الها يعني ولا هذا الشيء الاعلى upper teeth هما دوك الاسنان اللي في الاعلى upper lips شفتين lower lip lower teeth and tongue so this is the heart palatal يعني ديك البلاصه الحرسه اللي كاينه في النازل في alveolar ridge soft palate or villum this is it it is soft not hard يعني رطبة oral cavity this is the oral cavity يعني الفم ديالنا داك الشيء اللي كنبقوا فيه هنايا في الانسان and of course here this is nasal cavity and this is oral cavity uvula هي داك النسي اللي كيكون عندنا اللور تيبقى لها and this is the air stream this is how this is the vocal tract how the air stream moving from the lungs through of course nasal ca uh, oral cavity etc and this is the wa the wind the wind pipe so the place of articulation this is the place of articulation we have bilabials labiodental interdental alveolar palatal velar glottal so concerning the bilabials are the sounds that are produced from our lips so in the production of these sounds the air is blocked by bringing two lips together so our lips are are moved together when we produce the sounds p a p and p and m lapudental so we have lapu which is lips and dental which is feet we have f and v so these sounds are of course produced by two by uh, dental and lip okay so the production of the sounds the air is blocked by uh, touching the lower lips to upper teeth interdentals are the and th why interdental so we insert our thong between our teeth so that's why we call interdentals alveolar so alveolar it is those sounds that are produced in the hard palatal okay like l r l r n t d s z so in this in the production of these sounds of course the thong uh, the ear is blocked by raising the tip of thong to alveolar reach palatals we have z, z, sh, j, ch, and y. So in the production of these sounds, sounds the ear is blocked by raising the front part of the thong to the hard palatal of the roof, and also the the my we have two sounds here are uh, alveo palatals. Okay, velars. So velars we have k, g, and n. So the air is blocked by raising the the back of the thong to soft palatal. So the velars here, 
the R palatal or soft palatal or velum. So both names are correct. You can both vel velum or just soft palatal. Glottis. So the glottis is those sounds that are completely stopped during the production in the glottis. So we have he and he. The manner of articulation, it refers of course to how the ear flow constructed in the vocal tract while the place of articulation of course refers to the how the sounds are taking place or are are take uh, talk taken place here in the, the oral cavity this is the articulation maybe here maybe here maybe here so how the airstream is going to touch those organs in the oral cavity while manner it is how how the airflow constructed in the vocal tract how it is stopped it is fricative it is affricate or it is liquid or nasal so stop or or plosives the airstream may be completely stopped or partially obstructed in the vocal tract we have b and p th th n k k n and uh, uh. fricatives when the sounds are produced the ear escapes through small passage making friction this is the fricative يعني مخلين واحد 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 الفريكشن اللي كيعطينا الصوت and affricates it just are produced uh, through sequences of stops plus fricatives j and ch Liquids are produced with a little restriction of airstream, but it doesn't. Uh, uh, it is not enough. I'm sorry for this mistake. It is not enough to cause frictions, and we have of course l and r. That's why we call them liquids because. بحالهم بحال واحد السائل في النسال ديالنا يعني كيبقاو مني كي إلا 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 لاحظتو مني كدور النسال تاعك البرد كيخرج من من الجناب تاعو يعني ليكويد يعني كي بحال تيتزلق يعني الماء ما تقدرش تشدو في يدك داك الشيء علاش كنقولو ليه ليكويد يعني سائل while nasals produced when the vellum allows the ear to flow through nasal cavity <تصفيق> We have m, n, and n. Voicing. So, of course, voicing here, it refers to the states of the vocal tract when the air is passing through it. So, here, when we say the vocal tract, the states, يعني الحالة ديال ديال vocal tract, is it a voiced or is it a voiceless? So, we have voiced sounds. Are when the ear makes vibration in the vocal tract, in the vocal folds or tracts. So here, the voiced vowels or voiced sounds or consonants in general are making fraction of vibration in the vocal tract. If you both hear in in apple, Adam apple, you will feel the vibration when you produce b, g, v, z. You will feel the vibration, and voiceless is when the ear doesn't make any vibration in the vocal folds. Like, إلا حطيتو مازال تاني إيدكم على ال على هنا على على القرجوطة غادي غادي تحسو أنه ما كينش واحد الفيكس يعني كده ف ث ك ف س ف ك ت أم ب For example, we have fine and vine. We have seal and zeal. This is just a few examples about voiced and voiceless sounds. 
So phoneticians describe the place of articulation in terms of distinctive features as it is below. So as you know why phoneticians try to make distinctive features because these features are not enough to describe and make a distinct uh, di difference between sounds that's why they came up with distinctive features we have interior articulation and non interior articulation so concerning interior articulation is about the sounds which are pronounced in the front of the mouth such as bilabials, lapudental, lapudental, interdental, and alveolar. And of course, we gave them here the syllable plus uh, enter, just with right plus ends between brackets. And here, of course, we give just here in the voice we give plus voiced okay we give just plus voiced plus voiced like this way our lights here plus voiced while here in voiceless just we both minus V I hope it is clear <sighs> while noun interior articulation are those sounds that are produced in the back of the mouth such as velar and palatal and we give them the syllable minus and as it, as it is here so another category it is coronal means those sounds which involve the tongue in their production so we have sounds that involves uh, or con contact with the tongue they are coronals while others which don't contact with the with the tongue they are not coronal and we give them of course the syllable minus coronal and uh, here it is minus coronal minus coronal like here which involves the front part of the thong we, co we call them opicles this is the front it is the tip of the thong the tip of the thong we call it opicles like s, z, th, th and t, d, l, r so and n they are plus coronal we give them plus coronal and coronals which involve the front the the back this is another mistake here I'm so sorry the back of the tongue we call them the dorsal like k and g and n and we gave them the minus minus coronal core like this way just we write k and r o and r and between brackets square brackets or brackets okay we put them in square brackets so another another category it is non continuant or stops it is the continuant of course so this it is how the air streams uh, goes on are those sounds which are articulated with total obstruction of the airstream in the oral cavity so this is concerned with non continuant they are stopped stops like p and p t t n g g and n and it those sounds are stops there is no flow of air streams in oral cavity while continuants are those sounds which are articulated 
while the stream of air flows continuously without stopping in the mouth or oral cavity we have like fricatives يعني هنا الكنتينو يعني الاستمرارية الصون الصون يعني ملي كتنطقو كيكون واحد استمرارية وهنا هي عدم استمرارية while the lead release we give them this uh, this syllable syllable plus del so this is these are we have j and ch we call them the lead release we give them this syllable plus del and here we gave here we gave minus continuance continuance can t t u continuance continuance and here we gave them plus continuance of course between square brackets between square brackets here we gave in the lead release we gave them plus delay why we call them the lead release because the it is uh, it is alveolar while here uh, j it is another uh, on here uh, as you can see th it is alveolar and sh it is uh, it is palatal so what happens so t goes or moves to sh the lead يعني, the lead here it is stop and it توقفات واحد شويه وقع واحد التكامل يعني ريليس يعني الطلقات حتى ولات تش الا الا درتي تش يعني وقع واحد واحد التوقف قليل من بعد عادت نطقت هذيك تش نفس الامر وقع مع تج اند سيبلنت دو سيبلنت از نوت لابيدنتال سترايدنت بحال اس ز ش ج تش ج While stridents are f, v, s, z, sh, and j, ch, j, uh, is non interdental fricatives plus affricate. So strident and they are the same th th except in some sounds here we don't give the non labiodental strident in the stridents, and of course when we have sibilant we give minus stri like this way stri but if we have the strident we give plus strident plus plus try this is the glide to so the glide of course produces the little or no obstruction of airstream in the mouth like y and w liquids are l plus lateral we gave them like this way plus lateral we put it in a square bracket and r, it is central okay it is central we gave them the feature central but in the description we gave just lat minus lat plus lat remember these features an approximation is when the articulators are closed together but they don't close enough to cause friction this is how the airstream uh, 
goes or moves in our our, our mouth so we have close 100% we have consonants and here open 100% we have vowels so total abstraction we have stops so stops in our mm, our glottis they are of course uh, stop stops there is no obstruction in our nasal uh, in our oral cavity we have stops and partial yani obstruction yani adna friction friction yani ki dir wahed al friction yani ki kon wahed partial wahed wahed al ihtikak aw wahed al talq li juz'i ki dir wahed al ihtikak adna fricatives and affricates so fricatives like f f s v s z etc here of course j and ch approximation as we explained here it is close together but they don't close enough to cause friction like like y and w why a sonorance it is like a vowel somehow like a vowel while liquid also minus vowel minus consonant sonorance here plus they make some sonority they are a level of sonority where the ear takes place and make vibration in our oral cavity like nasal of course they are like vowels so sonorants are like vowels and liquid like l and r m n and n in nasals so this is uh things that are concerned with the features and concerned with the phonetics and what are expected to to do in the exam by these features and now i will give you a summary and this is my summary that i worked with in the exam this is small one so we have sounds sounds here we have glides we have consonants as you can see here consonants and this is glides and this is vowels but here you have to memorize it in your mind as it is please memorize it by heart so glides they are not vowels or consonants that's why we give them the feature minus syllabic minus consonants between square brackets why because the ear uh, doesn't enough to cause a friction in our it is like approximate okay and here vowels we have plus syllabic and minus consonants while here in consonants we have plus consonants minus syllabic and please remember these features and how they are written so we have this chart the cardinal chart which is summarizing everything and here it is front as i explained this is front this is back this is low and this is high and of course this is the tongue this is our tongue as as you can see this is our tongue okay and this is the position is it high is it low it is back it is front is it middle it is central etc and you have to remember this clearly and here as you can see in the consonants we have obstruents and we have sonorants or sonorants so here the obstruents as i explained they, they are stopped okay there is no friction and of course we gave them the minus cons uh, the minus sonorants 
while here there is a sonorance they are like a vowel they make vibration in our oral cavity and glottis so we give them the feature plus sonorance like what like like nasals and liquid here we have this is the obstruent sounds like stops and affricates and fricatives so this is th their features in stops we give them the feature minus continuant and this is how and here there are some so we have anterior and minus anterior we have plus anterior and minus coronal so like here so we have anterior and minus coronal like p and p as you know we produce them in the front and they, they are not involved by the tongue so we have one which is voiced and it is b and the other one it is minus voiced it is p like people apple etc the other th th and th both of them are interior and coronal why because they are produced in the alveolar ridge but the difference between the two the th it is minus voiced while the th it is plus voiced and anterior minus anterior minus back a minus coronal we have k and g and the difference bet between the two they are just voicing v and minus v voiced and plus voiced affricates we have the lead as I explained the lead release so the ch and j so the ch it is voiced and the j it is it is uh, the j it is plus voiced and the j it is minus voiced okay this is the difference between the two both of them are africans and of course here this is the symbol and in the africans we have plus continuity because there is a continuous air of streams it goes on continuously without stopping like F, V, Th, and Th, and S, Z, Sh, and J. So we have F and V are plus anterior, minus coronal, plus trident. Okay? Minus coronal. Why? Because they are produced from the, f the front part of our mouth. And the difference between the two, of course, just the voicing. Why? Because here V. There is a vibration in our vocal tract while f the, there is no obstructions so here the the t the th and th and s and z are both of them are interior and coronal why as you know both of them are produced in the alveolar ridge so the difference between the four they are strident these two are strident while the th and the are minus strident so the difference between the th and the are just of course the voicing this this one the th it is voiced while the th it is minus voiced and the c and the the same thing it is just voiced and sh sh and j both of them are minus anterior both of them are plus coronal and uh, and plus strident this is plus strident and plus coronal and minus anterior and the difference between the two the same thing it is just voiced while the sonorance sounds which we have uh, we have uh, nasals and orals so the nasal and orals are the two are also they have a difference so the difference is the nasals here and the orals this 
are produced in the nasal or, uh, of cavity when the air is passed to the nasal cavity by of course closing the oral cavity the uvula to the oral cavity and of course here we have this small difference between so we have n and m are interior while n minus interior minus coronal and both of them are plus nasal and so we have n it is plus coronal while m it is minus coronal why because it is bilabial so we give them the features this is the features are very important are very important remember that these features this is how the exam the teacher will give you some sounds as it is here and he will recommend you to write the features to give the features to give the difference between the two sounds etc and the orals we have v and r uh, are minus we give the feature minus nasals and here plus nasals we don't write orals just minus nasals as it is here minus nasal okay and also the difference between these orals v and r so the first one is uh, lateral while the second one it is uh, of course uh, central that's why we give here minus lateral uh, minus lateral and plus lateral L. both of them are interior plus interior plus coronal and concerning the vowels this is the features of the vowels are very easy so we have syllabic we have consonants we have uh, high 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 heights and we have roundness and we have tense so the tense so so this is the tense the u and o and a and u and e are tense while the others are lax why we call them tense because in the production they go street the tongue is street so this is it as you can see this is you can remember this it will be easy for you and also it is good for you in the exam because your professor you will know that you are memorize them and did this in a arranged way this is an example okay we still have glides so as you can see glides minus syllabic and minus consonants because they don't make any friction because of uh, lack of closure or open in the uh, the oral cavity we have semi vowel and we have laryngeals so semi vowels are like a vowels يعني كيتشابهوا vowels عندهم نفس خاصية ديال vowels that's why we give them the plus sonority because they, they have the sonority they have the musicality there they have the vibration they make the vibration in the vocal tract while laryngeals they are minus sonorant because they don't have any friction in our oral cavities we have and so here the difference between w w and ye so w it is of course it is like a vowel like u like the sound u this is like this sound like this one and this ye it is like this one it is in the front this is in the front like this one so the ye it is plus high as you can see here it is plus high minus back so it is it is not back it is in the front so and it is minus round because it is street okay while w it is plus high it is like this one 
and it is plus back it is back and it is round this is round okay the other features of course minus interior minus coronal so according to the questions that you you are going to find in the exam while laryngeals plus sonorants and we have and we have are is stop why it is fricatives why fricatives because there is a continuity a continuity in the production of the air that's why we give them the plus continuous and here it is stop because it doesn't do any continuous so we a continuity that's why we give give it the feature of minus continuance so the feature uh, other features or distinctive features we can give them it is minus anterior minus coronal and minus forced so this is the good summary of uh, as you can see it is brief it is brief for you all these things that we are we mentioned earlier all of them are here just you can memorize this this page or this paradigm in your mind and it did at the day inshallah of the exam the first thing that you can do is to write all these features in the in the paper in order to not stress when you try to answer your sheets so the exams this is this this uh, this exam belongs of course to prof wahib in the university of literature and human sciences so the first exercise from the an exam I found that in Facebook you can lock lock it by yourself but for it by yourself identify the difference in articulation between the following groups of sounds for example he gives you an example how to answer p and p th and j differ from f and s and sh and th in that the sounds in the first set are all stops while the sounds in the second set are all fricatives يعني هنا يعطيك كيفاش تجاوب على هذا السؤال كيفاش تجاوب على الاخرين بنفس الطريقه دونك تاش غادي دير غادي نعطي غير شنو الاختلاف اللي بين هذا يعني بين هذه المجموعه وبين هذه المجموعه يعني في المجموعه الاولى الاختلاف اللي كاين بيناتهم هو انه الفويسينغ يعني في الاولى راه دي ار فويسليس يعني دي ار ستوبت ما كيديروا حتى شي فيبريشن ان دي اور فوكال تراكس وايل ذا سيكند دي ار فويست ذيس از ذا ديفرنس ذا سيكند وان دي ار ذا ديفرنس بيتوين ذيم جاست اوبستروينتس اور اوبستروينتس ذا فيرست وان ار ار نوت اوبستروينتس ار اوبستروينتس whereas the second are sonorants that's why the feature we can give them plus sonorants and um, plus sonorants while the first set it is minus sonorants the third one n n l r and th d s and the difference between these two the same thing it is just sonorants you can find many differences this is the differences that i found by myself and you might find something different for me this the answer will be correct just show how this is this is the uh, the answer show me how when you give the answer show me how to make sure that you understand and this the last one in this exam it is about coronal so the difference between the two it is just coronal the next exercise it is just you give a description to an an exercise as sounds that you try to identify it 
using the transcription so for for example we have the first one voiceless alveolar stop so here the voiceless alveolar stop you give the voiceless alveolar stop it is th and at the same time you have to give the the features so this is the features the th it is minus plus consonant minus syllabic plus continuant minus continuant minus voiced minus sonorant plus interior plus coronal so this is the features and this is the same thing with all these things that we have here another exercise so you can do the same thing do the same thing with all these things and you can uh, <coughs> write them if you want them these features so in the day of the exam you have to do the braces like this way okay and the sounds between slashes not like this way I'm sorry for this you have to do the slashes so the next exercise write the symbol of the corresponding to each of the following phonetic and this this and descriptions then give an English word that contains that sound and هما عطينك واحد ليكزامبل هنايا شتي في ليكزام عطينك معرفتش هاد ليكزام تاع من غير لقيتو لقيتو تاو في فيسبوك هزيتو سو so, عطينك في اللولة قالك voiceless bilabial stop سو so, voiceless bilabial stop يعني voiceless يعني شنا هما أول حاجة نهار الامتحان يعني تجاوب بهاد الطريقة يعني تقلب شنا هما شنا هما البيلابيل اللي عندك بعدا كتكتب مع الدك ب بحال هكا عندك ب عندك ب ب وعندك م وعندك حتى هو ولكن هذا هما الاصل دونك هنايا قال لك بايليبيل قال لك بايليبيل و ستوب يعني انه راه هو ستوب يعني عندنا هذا هذا هو ستوب هو هذا ب هو هذا وكنعطيو اكزومبل بحال بي كوك قال لك اعطي اكزومبل كيفاش قال لك فويسلس بايليبيل ستوب ذيس از ذا ب يعني فويس ا فويسلس اند بايليبيل يعني كتنطق من من القدام ديال الفم ديالنا يعني بالشفات بالشفتين ان فرونت لو فرونت فاول يعني لو فرونت فاول الا رجعنا للتشارت كوردينال تشارت لو فرونت فاول لو يعني لو يعني كيكون ات از ماينس هاي سو ات از هير سو ذيس از ذا لو فاول So this chart, يعني هاد ال chart هذا غادي يعاونكم بزاف نهار الإكزام يعني نهار الإكزام غير حفظوا ها غير هاد chart بحكة وحط قدامكم تطبق يعني low فينا هو low هنا هو هاد ah like fat cat this is low front vowel يعني ها هو low يعني جاف التحت وجاف القدام هو front vowel صعبي كاتك تبو عادي low front vowel this is like cat Look at the example. The same thing you can do this thing, and this is how the exam, the the whole exams and the all the professors do the same thing. But what is the important thing in this in this course? Just to remember these features that we discussed in all this course. Okay, in the whole this course, this course. So plus coronal, minus coronal, plus strident, minus strident, plus vowel, uh, plus syllabic, minus syllabic, plus consonant, minus consonant, extra, and write them clear. And as I mentioned before, write this chart and this page first in the the, the paper or the draft paper in order when you try to answer. You see at it, in order to avoid stress and anxiety in the exam, and at the end, I will say to you, good luck. ولا تنسوا من صالح الدعاء ما أحسنت به فمن الله وما أخطأت فيه فمن نفسي ومن الشيطان وأستودعكم الله إلى حلقة جديدة.